no you did it. I didn't do it. I can't believe you'd accuse little old innocent me of cheating on that test on Iran. Well then prove it. What type of government does Iran have? That's it? That's all you got? That is easy? Iran has a theocracy. I don't know how you succeeded to get that answer, maybe just a stroke of luck but to prove it. Is Iran unitary or federal? If you want to know it's unitary and before you ask it is autocratic. You are right. Maybe you didn't cheat after all. But here let me ask some more questions. Okay, that's fine by me. So what is the leader of Iran called? The Supreme Leader. They also have a ceremonial president. Good, what is the legislature? Okay, so first you have the Assembly of Experts. You have the Expediency Council, the Council of Guardians, and the Islamic Consulate of Assembly. The Assembly of Experts chooses the Supreme Leader and the Expediency Council has the most power. Okay, how about the role of the citizens in their voting rights? Citizens over the age of 16 can vote. Citizens do not vote for the Supreme Leader, as I have said beforehand the Assembly of Experts picks the Supreme Leader. Also, their legal system is based on the Sharia law system. Now this is the final question, and if you get it correct there is a good chance you won't go to jail for cheating. Because well, maybe you didn't cheat. Now tell me, what are the personal freedoms that the citizens have? Well, um, the citizens cannot criticize the government or its leaders. There is no freedom of press or speech, and they must follow strict social and religious rules. Correct.